So now you're ready for part one. How are you? Hope everybody's doing well. You're going to paint your canvas, just the perimeter in whatever color you desire. I sort of did like a midnight blue. You're gonna take your image and cut away all the white. And this is what it will look like. You're gonna take your Mod Podge and your brush and with the image facing up, you're going to pour the Mod Podge and then spread it on your image. until it's totally covered. You're going to take that and take your image and place it upside down so the image is facing down and put it on top of your canvas, making sure that you're pressing down not too hard and that there are no bubbles. Make sure that you press down the edges Then you're going to take your canvas with the image and flip it over and press down. This will ensure that there are no bubbles. If you don't have any Mod Podge, half Elmer's glue and half water will make Mod Podge once you pick, mix it together. So once this is all done, flip it over, make sure again that it's nice and smooth. You're going to be leaving this to dry overnight. And then once this is all done, just leave it alone. I know you want to touch it. I know you want to look at it. Believe me, I've done it but just let it stay. And then we'll be letting it dry overnight so that we can head on to part two where the magic happens. Okay, so I'm back. Good morning. I let this stay overnight and uh, actually I like it better. I didn't allow the other one to stay overnight. This really helps. You're going to take a damp towel, not a wet towel, a damp towel. Just press it against the paper on the back. And then in circular motions, you're going to start removing that layer of paper. See, like magic. This takes a little time and effort, but I think it's well worth it. Get your cup of coffee, get your damp rag. You might have to, you know, re-wet the rag again and uh, the, the towel again and just put set it on top of the paper, but it's not a problem. So you keep doing this and I'm not going to keep doing this so that you can watch. I'll just let you sh I'll show you in pieces as I go along. You just want to make sure that you take that top layer of paper off. Do not rub hard. Now I have painted my borders like a midnight black. Uh, thinking that it wasn't going to show through, but it did. I mean, it's possible that I just didn't let the paint dry long enough. But I'm not too unhappy with it. But you see, you start seeing your image and it is magic. When I first tried this, I thought, oh, how long is this going to take? Honestly, it doesn't take too long. Now on this one, you'll see like some white spots. Either A, I didn't rub enough, or B, 
I rubbed too hard and you see the canvas below. Now once you've finished rubbing it off, you're going to take your Mod Podge and spread it all over the item. Take your time. It's morning. The birds are chirping. I've got my coffee. Hope you guys are doing well. And you're just going to smooth it over the top. That's the last step. Now you can do this more than one time. I only did it the one time. I'm going to go over and get my saran wrap, my cling wrap or whatever you call it these days. Because I'm going to take it and curl it up in a ball and then just dab it on the Mod Podge. When it dries, it's going to look more like a canvas that you buy in the store, I think. This is a pretty easy project. It's just a little time consuming. But I think if you have something special and you wanted to do it and you didn't want to spend a gazillion dollars on doing something like this, this is the way to go. Now here comes the finished project and like I said you see the border I think I'm going to redo this and not paint the border black I'll just leave the canvas white this is Elma Lugo from the Long Public Library saying happy crafting see you next time <laughs>